Hi, I'm Janine and I'm from Kitzmiller RV and today's Open Road Web Show is about window extrusions and we're going to do some maintenance on the outside of the vehicle that's extremely important to all of our viewers. First thing we we'll want to do is we want to take a look at all the sealants that we have around the windows, any one of the extrusions, so pretty much anywhere we have metal on fiberglass or metal on plastics. Any place that there's been a hole cut and a molding put or an item inserted into the sidewall um, or back wall, front wall, front cap. So we're looking at clearance lights, we're looking at um, all the moldings around the front and rear cap, we're looking at all the floor line moldings, anything where there has been a screw put. Um, all these things are, are um, places where we're going to get water entry if those sealants break loose. And anytime that you get hot and cold weather, um, especially when it's hot during the day and then it gets cooler at night, all of those sealants will um, will shrink and contract and then those gaps will will open up and let water in so we're going to actually want to run our finger along all of the extrusions and see if there's a place where if our fingernail will fit in obviously water's going to wick in we're looking for pinholes cracks in the sealant anything like that or complete lack of sealant and most RVs that are built today have a, a substance called butyl tape behind the windows and behind all the extrusions but some of them have foam tape and foam tape actually compresses over time and that's the that's the number one place we're going to get the most water entry so you would want to actually seal with an elastomeric sealant and we use a product called Dyco um, you can use silicone but silicone is something you'll actually have to remove and redo on a pretty regular basis if you use an elastomeric sealant like the um, Dyco product, it actually never dries solid so it doesn't flake and, and fall out and you don't have to scratch it off after time. But any place that you feel that you can get water entry, you're going to cap seal around all the windows, especially if there's again foam tape. But if you have butyl tape behind those, then you'll just cap seal, which is just sealing the top edges. So we'll come across the top and then just a little bit down the edges. And you'll see most manufacturers have done that from the factory. So essentially you're going to be touching up those areas. But a lot of the plastic parts, even if they've used butyl behind the windows, they'll use foam tape or a, or a rubberized sealant behind um, like the refrigerator vent or any other place that they've cut a hole. So we want to you know, cap seal all of those areas. But you want to inspect every single extrusion on the entire coach. And I usually recommend that you do that early spring and then late fall, whenever we have dramatic changes of the weather, again, from you know, cold at night and then hot during the day, because that's when you'll get the most expansion and contraction. Um, when you're done doing all of that, you want to make sure that you give yourself about an eight hour window for those sealants to solidify and to harden up before we get water or dew. So a good time of the day to do that is maybe like noon or one o'clock when the sun's high. Um, and we want to try and do that in a, in a climate that is you know, clearly above freezing. So a good temperature would be you know, 50, 60, 70 degrees right in there. We don't want it too hot so that the sealants are gooey, but we don't want it too cold so that they don't set into place. And if you have any other questions or you want to email me, you can click on the contact button on our website at kitsmillerrv.com and all of your questions will come directly to me.